Hey guys, so we've been talking about hearing the voice of God, and one thing that can definitely get in the way of you hearing the voice of God is living in sin. Now, perfection is something we're striving for because we're striving for Jesus. But one of the things is, uh, in the book of Psalms, it, in the 66th chapter, it says, um, if I regard uh, unrighteousness in my heart, God will not speak. Now, the thing is, if I have, maybe it's not that God's not speaking, maybe it's the fact that I can't hear, you know, because all of a sudden I'm not living in submission to Him. So I, I just, I encourage you, we don't have to be, we don't have to be perfect every single moment, but we repent whenever things are not going right. We strive after the things of God. That's how we get to hear the voice of God. Now, it's not a reward for us doing right, but I can tell you that it's a lot easier to hear my wife speak whenever I clean out my ears, okay? She'll tell you that I probably need to clean out my ears more often. But that being said, as we get closer to God, as we get to release all this nasty sin that's attached to us, it's going to make hearing God's voice even easier. And then that's going to encourage you, right? And then that'll excite you and that'll move you because the things of God, that voice excites you and moves you into new things. So I just encourage you, if there's anything in your life, if you're thinking about it now and you're saying, oh, I'm, no, that can't be right. That's not it. Yeah, that's it. That's the thing, right? <laughs> That's, if there's something that pops up that, you know, and it doesn't have to be thus saith the Lord in the book, it could be something that God is telling you directly to do, right? If God has told you, hey, you need to stop blah, whatever blah is, even if blah is itself is not a sin and other people can do it, then you disobeying and not doing that, not following the thing that he's told you to do, to you that's sin. And so I just encourage you, Repent. Listen to the voice of God. Obey it. Thanks for taking a minute.